This is probably the easiest lineup in Tower of Adversity so far and if you are on the FTP side of things you are going to be extremely happy. The current buff in the new Hazard Tower lineup gives the entire party 10% attack, 20% crit rate and 30% energy regen for 12 seconds when being healed. And this is on top the rejuvenating glow bonus with the exact same trigger. What makes this so significant is that players that use 4 star weapons with this buff are now able to reach the damage potential of players that use these same characters with 5 star weapons and no buff. 5 star weapons have higher base attack, 2 passives and are great because of the crit rate they could provide from their secondary stat. 4 star weapons have lower base attack and most of the gacha weapons have an attack secondary stat. Most players who use an attack percent weapon are running a crit rate forecast echo giving a 22% crit rate boost. The 10% attack buff from the hazard tower allows 4 star weapons to have around the same attack as 5 star weapons without the buff due to 4% less crit rate depending on if you have a crit rate or attack percent weapon and faster rotations from the energy regen buff. The reason this is mainly a buff for FTP players is because those using the best in slot and signature gear don't need this buff at all. There are plenty of FTP players and spenders who have maxed out the Tower of Adversity but with this buff this is the easiest time to max out your character's potential at absolutely no cost. Well, maybe the cost of your sanity if you don't have max level characters. To showcase just how insane this buff is, first I will show you my average Xeon build with crit rate echo and then swap to a crit damage echo to maximize the damage buffs. オキ軍の危険だ。多くの良き達はその身の精子を俺に委ねている。長き夜と共に歩む。それが俺の生き方だ。いつの日か。この場所で将軍が必要とされなくなったんだ。それは俺の願いが叶う。ということだ。